sweet boy. Wow. Kevin Costner hangs out with Jewel at Richard Branson's Necker Island Resort following Christine Baumgartner divorce. Kevin Costner has taken some time to unwind in the sun this week. The Yellowstone actor has been laying on the beach and playing tennis on Necker Island, which is owned by Richard Branson in the British Virgin Islands, according to Page Six. The 68-year-old director was on vacation at the pristine location where Jewel, Emma Watson, and Michael Bolton were also hanging out, it was claimed. The island held a very exclusive tennis tournament and Kevin even played a game during his stay. Costner seemed in high spirits and more interested in looking to the future than dwelling on his headline-making split from wife of 19 years, Christine Baumgartner, a source told the site. He was talking to other guests about his upcoming movie projects, and he even screened part of his latest movie, said an island hopper. His latest film is the two-part Horizon, an American saga which debuts in June 2024. Costner also went scuba diving and sailing, the site added. And when he had dinner at night, he rubbed elbows with Jewel and Emma, as well as Michael Bolton, and tennis stars Jeannie Bouchard and Mike Bryan. Guests paid up to $100,000 to visit the island and play with the best tennis stars in the world. In October, Costner and Baumgartner's very bitter divorce met an end as the two sides settled with the prenup enforced and a massive monetary penalty if it is challenged. A joint statement from Costner and Baumgartner provided to DailyMail.com read, Kevin and Christine Costner have come to an amicable and mutually agreed upon resolution of all issues pertaining to their divorce proceedings. The actor and his wife of nearly 20 years have been embroiled in a months-long legal war which has met a surprise end after a report that Baumgartner had received more than $400,000 to pay the costs of the contentious courtroom battle. According to TMZ, if Christine challenges the judgment she would have to repay Kevin more than $1 million and pay his attorney's fees for the prenup fight. Upon hearing this, the mother of three agreed over the weekend to the terms of a three-page settlement letter. DailyMail.com has reached out to representatives for Costner. Kevin's legal team, which was headed by Disso Queen Laura Wasser, had won a series of legal battles leading up to the settlement. Wasser had recently submitted paperwork to the court saying Kevin's monthly obligation should be $63,000 a month according to the publication. However, Baumgartner wanted $248,000 a month and after a two-day evidentiary hearing in Santa Barbara earlier this month, the judge Thomas Anderl ultimately sided with Kevin. DailyMail.com reported that Baumgartner had already received more than $400,000 to pay the costs of her legal battle with the actor. The mom of three was locked in a court fight with her ex over a fresh award of $855,000 to cover fees for the former couple's upcoming trial over whether the prenuptial agreement they signed 18 years ago can still be enforced. Baumgartner had asked for $575,000 to pay her lawyers John Rydell and Susan Wiesner and another $280,000 for her forensic accountant Jill Bombino which would take the combined total to an eye-watering total of $1.26 million. But documents obtained by DailyMail.com reveal Baumgartner has so far already received $405,000 in legal, attorney, and forensic accounting fees dispersed in July this year. In an excoriating legal filing lodged in court in Santa Barbara, California, on Tuesday, Wasser hit back at the whopping request, describing the fees as inflated and saying that it would be unconscionable for the Yellowstone star to be made to pay. Disso Queen Wasser also accused Baumgartner of being unreasonable and said her constant legal maneuvers, the majority of which have failed, had inflated costs for both parties. Baumgartner found herself on the hook for a payment of $14,000 after Judge Thomas Anderl decided to sanction her for failing to give proper answers to questions from Costner's legal team. The setback came shortly after Judge Anderl had Baumgartner's monthly child support payments, a decision she later described as a joke according to a pal. The friend told DailyMail.com, Christine is shocked. She said even Kevin looked shocked. Everyone looked shocked. To say Christine is disappointed is an understatement. She described the ruling as a complete joke. Costner was previously married to Cindy Silva from 1978 to 1994, and they share three children, Annie, 39, Lily, 36, and Joe, 35. 
He also shares a son Liam Costner with Bridget Rooney, who he dated after his split with Silva. In court documents obtained exclusively by DailyMail.com over the summer, Baumgartner described how she was instantly wowed when she first met the handsome, charming movie star when she was just 18 and he was 37. Baumgartner recalled the magic moment they met in 1992 in support of her bid for more child support for the couple's three teenagers. Baumgartner wrote, I met Kevin on the golf course at the Alisal Ranch, an exclusive dude ranch in Solvang, California, when I was 18 years old, she wrote in papers filed in Santa Barbara Superior Court, California. We played our first game of golf six years later and started dating shortly thereafter. Kevin was handsome, charming, and a movie star. We traveled the world in private planes, stayed in luxurious hotels, and private homes. She also said she was the driving force for the field of dream star to realize his own dreams, writing, During our marriage, I encouraged Kevin to wear many hats and live his dreams, even if that meant spending time away from our family. I encouraged him to reconnect with his former bandmates from college and to start a new band. He became a singer-songwriter and toured for weeks at a time in many countries. He became an investor in several companies, some of which were through my connections. She added, despite all of Kevin's commitments, I made sure to always keep him and the children connected as much as possible. I never questioned the time or commitment it took for him to do what he loved. Kevin Costner's marriage to second wife Christine Baumgartner is coming to an end after 18 years and three children together. Baumgartner, 49, cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for the shock split, which reportedly blindsided the Yellowstone star, 68. And in wake of his latest failed union, DailyMail.com is taking a deep dive into the actor's colorful love life. First Wife Cindy Silva Costner pictured with his first wife Cindy Silva in 1991, she filed for divorce three years later ending their 16-year marriage. Plus 17 View Gallery Costner pictured with his first wife Cindy Silva in 1991, she filed for divorce three years later ending their 16-year marriage. In November 1994, Costner's then-wife, Cindy Silva, filed for divorce after 16 years of marriage. We have amicably resolved all issues regarding our children and financial affairs and a full marital settlement has been reached. We ask to be allowed the dignity of sorting through this more painful part of our lives in private, a statement from the couple read in 1994. Costner and Silva met while they were both students at California State University Fullerton. They would go on to have three children together. The pair split amid multiple reports that Costner had been having an affair with a celebrated hula dancer named Michelle Amaral while he was filming his multi-million dollar flop Waterworld in Hawaii. Eventually, Silva was awarded around $80 million in the divorce settlement. In a 1995 interview, the bodyguard star took responsibility for his role in the demise of his marriage, but did not go into detail. A series of events conspired to happen at the same time. I know it hurt some people that I had failed in my marriage. And the marriage was my own failure, he said. Costner said in a 1995 interview with Parade Magazine that he never even spoke to Amaral on the phone. He also listed off the other women he was supposedly linked to including Playboy model Angie Everhart and the daughter of casino magnate Steve Wynn. It was hard on Cindy and our children. It didn't help things. The only thing it did was hurt. The collapse of my marriage was the hardest thing of all for me, the Dances with Wolf star said. Costner went on to express his love for his first wife, you can put this on the record. Through all the pain, Cindy's been what I always thought she was a real lady. I still have love for Cindy. Silva supported Costner when he was a struggling actor, taking on odd jobs that included performing as Snow White at Disneyland. 